y'all. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. So, we are about to get into uh, Tay and Lou. Um, something happened a minute ago. They broke up, you know what I'm saying? And now, they said that they was going to keep the channel and continue to, like, one upload on the channel, the other upload on the channel, and maybe that did happen. So, maybe that's what I seen the other day. Oh, nah. The other one, I don't know their names, which one is Tay, which one is Lou, but What's uh, let's get into it. What's up, TTG? It's Tay from around. This is Tay. Okay. Way here's what I'm eating today. I got king crab lobster and a scampi sauce that I made. <sighs> Ooh, scampi sauce. Mm -hmm. This video is going to be a difficult video for me, but I'm going to get through it. Um, And after this video, then I can come back for good. There's been a big barrier holding me back from being on YouTube. And I'm going to explain all of that in a little bit. Oh, Let man. me take a bite first. Pray for me, y'all, in this video. Pray for me because I got to make it through. I got to make it through the video. Hold up. Okay. All right. Let's go for some king crab. I figured I might as well have my favorites today or whatever the case may be <laughs> if I got to talk about this. But I am going to talk about it. Been long overdue, so we'll I love talk. Her hair. If you guys want to know the recipe to this scampi sauce, let me know. Hell yeah, right. I want it now. That look good. Mmm, <laughs> spicy, <coughs> spicy. Mhm. Mm Okay. Yeah, the subject that I have to talk about today is not Hell, the best. What kind of question is that? Y'all want the scampi sauce recipe? But Hell it's yeah. been what's been holding me back from making videos on here, and I've wanted to make videos on here for so long now. The last time you saw me, I made a video with my previous partner, which you guys obviously know, about the reason we broke up. And... What you guys don't know is after that video, I really experienced some things. I experienced some things, y'all. Okay. In that video, oh. I honestly felt like I was made to look like a dickhead. Oh, Lord. A dickhead. <laughs> I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Let me eat a lobster tail and let me explain basically the best truth I can give. So you guys can see why I'm so hurt and or why I was so hurt because since then, the time that I took apart from YouTube and sought help and all of that stuff, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Okay. Let me get that sauce mm -hmm. and one of them crab legs. I'm honestly here for the crab legs. My leg. scampi sauce is giving. Oh, we know. It looked like it. I ain't never even thought to eat crab legs mm. with scampi sauce, child. Okay. Might have to make some of that tomorrow. Put on. All right. So to hear the story be told, based on our video, it appears that the reason that... Lou and I broke up was because she was very depressed and she didn't do anything a face or whatever the case may be. And as a result, I became withdrawn from her and like basically I left her and her depression in the room and I kind of just ventured towards another group of women until we fell apart. Well, that kind of is what happened, friend. Especially if she was... Okay, so for those that don't know, um, last time they made a video, 
the the other girl that well the girl that she was dating her previous partner like she said she was getting drunk every day and drunk to a slump type so drunk till she fell asleep drunk um she was getting drunk falling asleep and after after she um got drunk and fell asleep this one Tay didn't have anything to do and she was trying to figure out how to make money and shit like that because the bill still had to be paid or whatever. So she ended up going to TikTok. her going to TikTok, She ended up flirting with some girls uh, one night cause she was drunk, but in her defense, they were broken up. So that's the backstory. When I tell you guys, some of the laughter that you guys saw in the other video really stem from the fact that, that I knew that that wasn't the situation and it really hurt my feelings so bad that that's kind of how I was portrayed. Especially considering that I spent most of my working years, like before I became an entrepreneur, most of my office working years as a social worker who literally the job was to help people get through their depression or whatever other mental illnesses they were dealing with. It just really fucked me up. Like, it fucked me up bad. I'm not gonna get emotional. The truth of the matter is... <sighs> the truth of the matter is when... Let that shit up. Lou was depressed and drinking because that was the real issue for me. When she was drinking, I did not experience a person that just laid in the bed. Okay? That's mm -hmm. not what I experienced. If you guys have ever had somebody that you love drink a lot they can respond in a lot of different ways some people just like to be off to themselves and when i tell you i would have much rather preferred that i could have dealt with that some people become hypersexualized. some people like to party until they pass out and some people like to fight mm -hmm. some people like to fight she liked to fight i'm about to lose my appetite let me eat one more thing for because I'm just like. <sighs> That's why I had to stop drinking Hennessy, y'all. Hennessy used to make me want to fight. It was bad. No cap. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That's why I don't drink it no more. Niggas be like, why you don't drink Hennessy? Ah ah ah. I'ma stick to my walker. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't like to fight, especially people I love. Uh -uh. Mind y'all, like I I sought for real help regarding this situation because I didn't know how to process what was happening to me. <laughs> in regards to the story that was told and what I actually experienced. Eat. It's a just, nice just, piece of crab. Yeah, eat that. And we want to see you eat that. Thanks, I mean, crab. we want to hear the story, too. Good shit. Mm -hmm. Let me get the other half. Mm. Oh, yes, yeah, just so. This is a banging sauce. Mm -hmm. When did she make this video? Oh, damn, an hour ago. Oh, we right on time. I need a thummy. I have some Riesling for this. <laughs> the real situation is this straight up. Because I'm not finna be... This major. make a lot of sense. Because I'm not gonna lie. The other video, it was... It, it seemed very much so watered down. It did. Something else had to be going on. I feel like I didn't experience what I experienced. And I didn't have a reason to leap. And she did look like she and was I holding felt so much back guilt in that video. Leaving. Oh no. But the truth of the matter is, Child, don't have me towards crying. the end of our relationship. Now we had a very tumultuous relationship. You already know that. But towards the end of our relationship, the drinking got really bad on her end, right? Mm. And no, she was not just depressed laying in the bed. If she was just depressed laying in the bed, I would have been with her to the to the kingdom come. I would have worked through any single depression. I would have. T taking her to whatever therapy she needed to attend to, I would have stayed. That's not the problem. The problem with people sometimes when they drink is that they get very handsy. Mm. And it's not safe, okay? Mm. I was not in a safe situation. Mm -mm. And I hate the fact that I allowed myself. It's that bad. Girl, not make us want to go fight. <laughs> Y'all, I've, I've had my share. Appreciate the resub, friend. Appreciate the resub too, Christy. Uh, I have had my share of showing my ass um, 
Mm, 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 mm. Hurt people, hurt people, y'all. That's terrible. To tell a story like that, knowing that's not what happened. That's fucked up. And to really fucking feel like it's happening again, bro. I would never leave somebody because they're depressed. But if I'm not safe anymore and mm -hmm. I'm asking you to stop drinking because you're turning into another person and mm. I'm finding and we're making agreements to have a sober house, but I'm finding like liquor in random places, knowing that you're still drinking and knowing that I'm going to have to watch over my neck. And, and now I'm going oh, out of the shit. house and going to gamble because I don't want to be home. Cause I'm scared. Like that's, that can't happen. Right. Mm. I can't, I can't go out like that. I'm sorry, y'all. And this is the main house. reason why Lou and I can't proceed. Because I talked to her about this situation. And I kind of was made to feel like, well, you did the video and that's the story that we're going to tell. Kind of like, and I don't like that. Like, I don't like feeling like I didn't experience what I experienced. If, if I'm willing to put out, you know, the gambling addiction that, that incurred as a result of everything we were going through, then I feel like, I mean, yeah, can she we, put you know, out. be fair. Hell be yeah. fair to me. Because you know I worked through everything with you, right? So after that happened, I knew we were never going to make YouTube videos again because I talked to her about it. And I was like, listen, it can't be told like this. Like, This this can't be the case. Like you, we both know that's not what happened. We I didn't just leave you and and run to a group of girls. These group of girls helped me escape the situation. They were my my fantasy, and I'm not even talking sexually, y'all. We literally were having it wasn't sexually, okay? They're my friends, just my friends, but to have something to know that. I could be loved and this mm. doesn't, this is not the extension of your love. Like this is not. I got that group. Well, more so TT took them, but TCG, I love y'all. Cause what I will say, uh, and, and TT did originally, you know, y'all just have y'all's togetherness, but I'm always invited. I love that. Um, but yeah, man, if I ain't got nobody, real shit, I got my TCG. That's that's a good. Uh, -uh not about to cry. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I just feel like I don't say it enough. That's a good group to have. I'm glad y'all embraced TT because she needed it real bad, and I'm glad now. That y'all, you know, I, I'm I'm more open to being embraced. How about that? Because I wasn't open to it. So I love y'all. Y'all my bitches. And all the league in general. I'm just saying I talk to them, you know, more. But anybody in my uh, society, too, and in my um, my lounge, I love That's not what's supposed to happen to you. Um, I... <laughs> I'm not going to get too much into my family history, but let's just say I never wanted to be a part of a situation like that. And I know our, 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 our situation was very tumultuous, but I wanted everything in me for it to stop. Like I wanted, I didn't expect this video to be emotional. So I'm sorry if this pull any of y'all, uh, emotional cards, all of it to be finished. Like I wanted, I wanted us to get better. So I tried everything. I was like, I'll stop drinking with you. Let's just make sure, let, let's not have any liquor in the house whatsoever. Let's do stuff because I knew it was the liquor. But at the end of the day, it's your choice to drink liquor. And then when you black out and I'm scared for my freaking life because I don't know what's going to happen, like either mm. you're going to go to jail, I'm going to go to jail, or one of us going to end up dead because at the end of the day, I'm stronger than Lou, but Lou's hella fucking tall, right? She's tall, so what am I going to do? Right. You got to defend yourself. And, and I'm not dealing with a person that's in her right mind. When a person drinks, they're not in their right mind. Regular Lou would never do this. And I need y'all to understand that. And that's what I held on to. I held on to the person that I knew would never want to hurt me. But when a person keeps making a choice to drink and, you know, that's just not cool. So, again, I fought hard at the end of the relationship. And I know there was a point in time when I decided that enough was enough and I couldn't do it anymore. And that's when she changed. I'm not going to lie. That's when she changed, but 
It's not because she was depressed, y'all. <laughs> and I need to make that clear. It's because she was abusive. She was hitting me. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I totally lost my appetite. I. This has been sitting on my chest forever, and I don't lie. I would have bust them lobster tails down up. <laughs> I could eat and be I could eat and be mad as hell. Now, if I ever just lose my appetite, like I'm pissed. Like an appetite being lost is a different feeling in the moment. Especially when you got good scampi sauce and lobster tails. Just sitting right at your fingertips. You know what I'm saying? It's just This is the only them lobster tails look so good with that sauce. I could move forward. Um Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> because I just don't want that on my. She could have emailed me these lobster tails. Well, I'm just playing because I know she's serious. Just... I don't want me to have gone through all of that to be said that this is what happened after all of that. Because I went through a lot, and I hold it all inside, all, oh. all inside, and I'm still recovering from it. That's so, cool. yeah, I just couldn't. I couldn't do that, and I had to figure out what was the best bet and this is the best bet for me y'all i know a lot of you people a lot of you guys just don't give a fuck i get it but i just for the people that do care if you could if you guys could please stop saying we belong together or you know stuff like that edit it out not and i edit it out neat shut up mm -mm. we don't belong together y'all we don't um i don't know if i brought out the bad side in her i don't know Listen, <laughs> I want to say it's okay. <laughs> Just ignore it. <laughs> oh, that I can't say. She could be very healthy with another person, but with me, I don't think that I brought out the best in her. And Delete I it! <laughs> that's it! Hey, y'all, I know that. Delete it! That's out of her system. She's awesome, bro. She's awesome. That's why we were able to make so many YouTube videos because <laughs> there was a lot of good spouts space. of awesomeness. But when it was bad, it was bad. <laughs> and it was changing me. It was changing me. Because at a certain point in time, you can't deal with that shit no more. You just can't. Anyways, yeah. I say all of that to say, I'm going to be making another channel, but this channel will always be dedicated to food and to you guys, because that's how it started. I've been fortunate enough to meet a lot of you, and I, I've fallen in love in a platonic sense with a lot of you, and this channel is not over. It's not over. I just needed a moment to process what the fuck happened, okay? I had to process it in a lot of different stages. And I'm so much stronger now. And I totally owe that to you guys. And I owe that to the individuals that let me see that I could still make connections with other people. And I could still have people root for me. Cause that is Hell yeah. When I, boy, when I went through the shit that I went through, I was fucked up real bad i'm like damn like ain't nobody gonna give a damn about me but you know a lot of people can see through bullshit and i'm the one i will call out my accountability so fast now because you can never say i didn't i will never give a motherfucker the chance to say that i ain't called out my own bullshit and i needed to learn that early okay you know but people will not call out their bullshit. Ugh. At a certain point in time, when you're in those situations, you feel like, I'm like I'm not trying to, I'm not old, y'all. My point is people could see through the bullshit. <clears throat> TCG. But I'm, I'm about to be 35. Like, how can I find, an, how can I find friends? How can I find this? And I did, and you guys, it was literally y'all mm -hmm. that, came to my rescue and still come to my rescue to this day mm -hmm. when it comes i'm y'all know again i'm i'm struggling with the gambling addiction i'm very open about that still? at this point in time in my life because i feel like if i'm open Damn. about it i will hold myself accountable when it comes to it but yeah the stupid question right is gambling really an issue if you can afford it and get it I don't gamble, okay? I do not gamble at all. I actually don't like gambling because I don't like the anticipation behind winning or not winning. I don't like that, right? 
But my question to y'all is, is it an addiction if, you know, it ain't tricking if you got it type shit? You know what I'm saying? If you got the money to spend for it, then I think people look at it as an addiction. Hmm. Because it's like if you got money and you want to spend it, like a shoe addiction. Some people out here spend their last dollar on a pair of Jordans. You know what I'm saying? But it's been like that forever type shit. But is that an addiction or you just decided you want to do what you want to do? Now, if she's gambling away her rent money, I think that's an addiction. If you're gambling away your bills because you got to live, but ain't no way she gambling away her bills. She got a crib. She eat lobster tails <laughs> and king crab. You're doing something right. And you have merch. Something is right here. I don't know. This store, which I have a store now, y'all. A lot of you guys don't know that because I've really just shared it with my TikTok stream. But this store and the things I have been doing to keep me out of the casino has been God sent. God sent. And I'm so appreciative of everybody that ever makes an order in my store. Everybody that buys our merch, which is, y'all, I got the merch to y'all. Thing, because thing, not gang. only, and this is just the truth of the matter, you're not just buying a merch just to represent TCG. What you're doing is keeping me out of a place that is so dark for me. And you're keeping my mind censored. And I'm so, mm, I am so thankful for that, y'all. Because when I tell you I'm coming out of a very dark period of my life. Y'all know her Instagram. And these are happy tears. Oh, happy ooh. because I feel like I have a second chance and it's not over for me. It's not over. But I know that I had to just, let me eat this y'all. Somebody's in here like, damn it, if she don't just eat that lobster tail. Okay, let me get a bite. That motherfucker. I promise you guys. Of that lobster tail. In the next video, I'll be hungry. Then there's people who I was hungry when this first started, but I haven't talked about this in a long time. So, and I think so that right there, friend, that's an addiction. Like getting, like borrowing money from people, don't pay it back, shit like that. What I'm telling y'all is, she has a full functioning business. She don't look like she's hurting for anything. But looks can be deceiving, but undeceiving <laughs> is them motherfucking crab legs and uh. Lobster tail. However, it could have been borrowed. Whatever. I hope not, cause that that then would be an addiction. But I don't know. Kind of dredging up some emotions. It might be something she don't want to do, but she's itching to do it. Either way, I will always say that the 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 relationship I had was more positive than negative, but towards the end, it was terrible. I'm not gonna lie, I was, it was terrible. But it doesn't make either one of us a bad person. I saw the good in her and she saw the good in me. We saw the bad in one another. It doesn't affect the people we can become. I have high hopes that she will thrive and I have high hopes that I will thrive. But it doesn't mean we have to do it together. And I pray that Y'all can accept that we we probably just better off. Not probably. We are better off in our separate journeys. Yes. Absolutely. And I'm thankful that you guys joined us while we were in a journey together. And the journey of this channel is not done. I'm going to have to change the name of the channel. Yep. Simply because that's just inappropriate. But it's going to be changed to something, some form of thing, thing, gang, some form of TTG. Because now this is your guys' this channel, and it'll be centered around food and you guys. Maybe meeting you guys. Maybe blessing somebody. That's my goal. My goal is to give back at this point because I knew in the moment that I needed you guys the most. The people in TCG that found me. That shit almost sound like TCG, y'all. They're the reason why I'm standing up right now, and they just don't know it. Because I'm, I'm, you know, I mean, some of them know what I was going through, but a lot of them don't. They just know that I was in a relationship and then I wasn't. But some people even heard the shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is I love you guys. I'm gonna, I'm on a regular schedule now. I call TCG. Two videos per week. The next video, I'm gonna be eating grill. 
we don't know what Grio is, that's basically pork Haitian style and pickles. That's one of my favorite meals ever. And I'm going to be talking about some other stuff, some happier stuff. Um, again, a big shout out to everybody that has ordered my merch that has ordered from my clothing mm -hmm. brand. You guys are keeping me afloat right now, and it's I appreciate not, it so much. She's not saying TCG, though. She's saying TTG. <laughs> um, the link is definitely shown, but to show you guys... It's thing, it thing, like, gang. We got a whole... Oof. Oh, shit. That would have pissed me off. I'll show you the next video. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, I know the feeling. Just pissed about some shit. Ah, <laughs> that would have pissed me off so bad. All right, y'all. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Somebody tell me her Instagram, please. Um, I, you know, just tell me her Instagram. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. <laughs>